Will the housing market crash? I'm going to give you a nationwide view and then narrow it down to what's happening in Colorado. And we're starting now. Hi, I'm Marilyn Ackerman, top Colorado real estate agent in the Longmont, Colorado area. As I'm sure you are aware, the national and the local housing market has been soaring upward and the last year has been significant here in Colorado and nationwide. Nationally, homes are up 17% in the last year. Colorado as a whole is up 16.7% in the last 12 months, according to Zillow. And Denver proper is up 13.3% and areas just outside of Denver are up about 18% in the last year. Buyers are paying tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and even a million dollars over asking in some areas. Now the housing craziness is going a little bit further because we have the national uh, forbearance options ending on July 31st. This means we're leading up to a moment that many people in the media warned about, saying things like there's going to be a massive waves of foreclosures. One of the fears is definitely that people who have just bought homes are wondering, have they overpaid or is there something to worry about here? Before we get to the forbearance ending, here's an article that looks very scary, but let's break it down. Uh, it's the CNBC article, housing boom is over as new home sales fall to pandemic low. Sales of new single family homes fell 6.6% below May's rate. New single family home sales are falling. I'm an active real estate agent in Colorado, and I want to tell you that over half of these home developments have some kind of a wait list or an actual lottery that you need to sign up on to buy a home. Many of them actually require a deposit such as $2,500 just to be in the lottery. It's a refundable deposit, but still home prices are up 15 to 20% for these new homes. Even with the price increases, the builders can't keep up with the demand. Home sales falling is not the same as home prices falling. Additionally, with the increases in prices of materials such as lumber, concrete, steel, appliances, this has priced out many buyers from buying new homes who otherwise would have a year ago. Now, I said I would address the forbearance moratorium. Will a wave of foreclosures be coming because people are being uh, kicked out of their homes after this forbearance ends? First, what was forbearance? It was lenders allowing people to defer their payments to the end of their loan. So they don't have to pay them if they're experiencing a financial hardship from COVID. And this period already ended on July 31st. The worry is that people who had to defer their loans because of a hardship are all of a sudden not going to be able to pay these loans and get foreclosed on. Well, let's examine that. Let me show you the delinquency data from Mortgage Monitor. Nationwide, there are 2,056,000 loans in forbearance. This represents 3.9% of all home loans in the United States. Of these loans, the forbearance expirations are spread out, as you can see, with most in June, July, August, and September. Now let's look at this chart. What has been happening with people who went into forbearance since the beginning of COVID? Well, the good news is that 46% of people either kept making their payments or removed the forbearance since the beginning of the pandemic. They used the forbearance as insurance. 18% paid off the loan. That means they may have sold their home and maybe they took that average of 17% gain in just one year. This shows the number of people truly delinquent on their homes is 5% of those people in forbearance. Across the country, it's 3.9% of homes that have loans are in forbearance. 3.9% is a small number already, and keep in mind this. In Colorado, 37% of homes are owned outright. Now, I found a stat from the year 2000 that was nationwide saying that 30% of homes in the nation are owned outright. That may seem like a really high number of people that own their homes outright, but I'll tell you in my experience of selling homes, that's about right. Those people that did go into forbearance because of COVID related hardships were able to defer their loan payments for one year to the end of their loan period. 
Now, for people that are still experiencing a COVID-related hardship, they can get a 0% Federal Housing Administration loan that will act as a lien against the property and really bail them out. Anyhow, it is going to save their home and allow them to remain in the home. Now, Colorado is a very average state for the number of people in forbearance and home prices rising and so forth. So let's look at what if every home that was delinquent in Colorado uh, went into foreclosure and nobody took advantage of this government program. There are 1,650,000 homes in Colorado. 37% are owned free and clear. And if Colorado has a national average of forbearances, the percent of those delinquent in Colorado would end up being the number 3,234. That's how many homes would go into foreclosure if everyone in Colorado who was delinquent went into foreclosure. That means everyone who was delinquent would have to A, not sell their home at today's uh, high prices. They would have to not take advantage of a government program and they would still have to be experiencing a COVID hardship. Now, if they went delinquent, that 3,200 homes, that won't even make any difference in our Colorado housing market where homes are selling so high over asking and they're selling in record amount of times and also we only have about two weeks worth of inventory to meet the demand. So buyers, the bad news is you're not going to be able to scoop up a foreclosure deal anytime soon because of this forbearance moratorium and because of COVID and everything going on right now. Owners, great news. You're going to preserve that equity in your home. It's predicted that home prices will not go up 17% again this year, but they will steadily continue to rise. If this video was helpful, please give it a like. I put out great content on my channel, Longmont Homes and Lifestyle, every week, so please subscribe if you're interested in Colorado real estate. And you just let me know if there's anything I can do for you with Colorado real estate. <music>